This question is about a stretch in a spring. The graph shows how the extension of a spring varies when the force is applied to the spring. The line on the graph shows that the spring has been extended past its elastic limit. The line has a straight section and curved section. In I, draw a cross on the line to show the elastic limit on the spring. Elastic limit means that the spring highest limit before the spring's plastic deformation can occur. To find this point on the line graph using your ruler and pencil. And then draw another straight line on the drawn line. The point at which the two lines start to move slightly away from each other, that point is the elastic limit. In double I, sketch another line to show how the extension will change when the force is decreased from its maximum value back to zero. Shaded curved region represents a plastic material, it cannot go back along the same line of elastic behavior. I should draw a straight line from it, the maximum value of force to the point at which the applied force is released or becomes zero. Using the ruler, straight line from the maximum value of force till it meets the extension on the y-axis. The value of force is zero, but there is a value for the extension. This one, it means that the length of the spring material becomes a plastic material or plastically deformation or deformed. State which energy store of the spring increases when it is stretched. Assume the spring does not reach its elastic limit. The key word which is stretch it. So it's elastic potential energy. In double I, how is this energy transferred to the spring? While adding loads of forces to the free end of the spring, then the spring starts to vibrate up and down, vertically or back and forth, horizontally. As a result, the mechanical energy is converted into the elastic potential energy. The correct answer for double I is mechanically. If you love the video, share and like and subscribe, and see you next video. Thank you.